Man, it's so hard to find food. Oh, we're thirsty now, too. Good thing I've got some, uh... Good thing we got some water. One thing we do have going for us. But, uh, yeah, it's really hard to find food. Oops, we don't want to drop that. So, I ended up just buying a box of cereal. Best to, uh, not take any chances. You never know. It may, it may be a very long time before we see any animals or find anything to eat, so... It's best to just be prepared. So our, our hunger is going up. So there is that at least. We've got water, so we're good on that regard. So yeah, I think what we're going to do today is uh, just going to continue down this dirt road. It's going to come out to a main road. And I think, I can't remember if there's a gas station here or if it's more down here. I think it's more, it's here, right here. So, okay, we're not going to hit the gas station, but yeah. There is a World War II bunker right around this sort of area, so I think we're going to check that out on our way. But eventually, today, I want to make it to our beach. I want to get started um, getting some kind of a shelter built. Is the sun... Hold on. Oh, I don't even know. I don't even know north yet. I think that's north that way, so I think that's east. So I think the sun's just coming up. But anyway, yeah, I want to start. Uh, I want to start getting a shelter built today, uh, so we can maybe start storing some stuff because the nomad life is is real rough in this game. If you want to have any kind of a, uh, you know, materials, <laughs> any kind of like you know goodies, guns, and stuff like that, you can only carry so much on you, and uh, you're penalized for carrying weight quite a bit more now than you used to be. Uh, with this uh, accumulative fatigue system that they've introduced, you really gotta watch, you know, how much you're carrying, how hard you're driving, you're driving yourself, because you don't want to overdo it and, and end up like with no stamina left, and then getting jumped by a bunch of puppets and not even being able to run away, because that's uh, that's what will happen. So here's the, this is the bunker. Now, I've been to this bunker in the past and every time I come here there's usually I uh, like 20 puppets uh, an incredible amount of puppets uh, not sure I'm not seeing any yet they may not be around at the moment it's hit or miss oh very nice I don't know if I want to eat the grub last time I ate the grub I got sick Okay, it would appear. I don't hear any. It would appear to be abandoned at the moment, which is good. We're just gonna go through here real quick. Maybe we'll get lucky. We probably won't. But, uh, it's never wise to, to pass these up. I always wanna check these. Maybe we'll end up with a Mosin or something. Car 98. Even a pistol. Or some bullets. We'll take the bullets. What are those, Mosin rounds? Nope, those are Car 98 rounds. So, some bullets, whatever. You know, it's something. It's uh, more than we had when we walked in, right? That's all that matters. Dang. Sometimes there's stuff kind of just laying around where these crates are, so it's always good to do a little vicinity check right there. All right, no puppets. Very nice. Always like to see that, or not see that. <laughs> oh well, we struck out. Such is so often the case. Uh, let's see, maybe we'll get a... No? We can eat our cricket, at least. <laughs> I'm not going to eat the grub yet. Last time I ate that, it was bad. So, uh... When we're, uh... I want to experiment... Come on! I want to experiment and see if the grub is still, like, really bad for you. Because it used, used to be a good, you know, a good fo foraging find. Now it seems to, like, really repulse you when you eat them. Alright, let's head out. Let's get to the uh, end of this dirt road. 
and uh, see what we got going on here. Oh, we got a horse up ahead. Gonna let him go. We're not that desperate right now. Oh, definitely not desperate now. What are these for calories? 41.5 calories. Eh. It's better than nothing, you know? Ah, here we are. Coming up on our old haunt here. Very nice. Home sweet home. Home sweet power line. No, I'm just kidding. We don't live here. A little further down the road. Just gonna raid the garbage here. See if there's anything good. Alright, we'll go through a few of these spots here. See if there's any quick gets. Any quick grabs. Particularly this uh, RV right here. Open sesame. Ah. Wine bottle. Very nice. I won't drink the wine. I might just dump the wine out. It'd be good for a water bottle. All right, I think that's that. Better than nothing. Can I... I wish you could carry clothing in your hand. I don't know why you can't. You know what? Let's go get settled. That's what we need to do. We're gonna, uh... We're just gonna keep running into the same issue. Not being able to, to really loot anything. See, there's a pair of boots. I want them. Yeah, we're not going to be able to really loot anything, so we may as well go get settled, see what we can come up with. Ah, look at this. Run for your life, goat. Okay. Look, 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 look. No one's built here yet. <laughs> yes. Welcome home. I love this spot. It's perfect. Nice flat. There's always goats and stuff around. And it's close to loot. Next to water if we want to get a boat. It's really a nice spot. I really like it. All right, holy crap. So, the first thing that we need to do, and is it building? It's building, is we gotta get a chest built. So we need eight wooden planks. Well, this could be rope or thread or wire, and just two nails, so. Yeah, that's like a main major thing we need to do, because we need to offload stuff and, and be able to grab more things, so. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Actually, no. First, we're going to get that bag made. Then we're going to make... Yes, yes. Then we'll make the chest. Because we're going to need more space to loot stuff. Um, I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to toss some things for now, I think. I don't know. I don't know. I'm really bad at managing my inventory, in case you can't tell. But anyway, yeah. Let's see about making that bag first. All right, so to make that backpack, I have everything I need except a sewing kit. I thought I had a sewing kit. I don't. Um, I should, but I wasn't able to chop those bones up. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be a problem. So we are going to have to, unfortunately, loot the town and hopefully either find a needle or a way to chop up bones or a backpack. So, yeah. That's, uh, that's what we're going to do. So we're going to get looting. Hopefully we get lucky. <laughs> it's always pure luck, really. Uh, 
better place to find a book bag than in a school. <laughs> Don't you do that. Not okay. <laughs> Good lord. What a mess. Can't tell what's what. Can you believe that? She was inside the pile of stuff. <laughs> it's terrifying. What are you trying to do to me? There's the puppets. I knew they wouldn't be gone forever. If you're real lucky, you can find weapons in these. Hunting weapons. Oh, waste bag. That's good. That is useful. I don't need the beanie. We're not in take everything to sell mode yet. Cool, that's a little bit of storage. I'd still like a better backpack, though. I don't know why I'm searching that multiple times. All right, that's all the military crates. I believe we have struck out. All right, let's start looting houses and stuff. Um, clear. Clear this out. Oh! Oh! Oh dear. <laughs> Stay down, please. Oh! Uh. <sighs> finding stuff, but it's not the stuff I need. <sighs> Finally! Oh, it's a police bag, too. It's a little bit beat up, but it'll work. Much better. Much bigger improvement. <sighs> I'm starting to get worried. We pretty much have gone through this entire town. <laughs> Alright, so. We spent the rest of the day looting. Looted through the night. And it's now the next morning. Uh, we found quite a bit of stuff. Uh, we found enough uh, rags and scrap metal to make a flag, get our base started here, kind of lock in this area. And um, you know, we built a fire pit. Uh, we got ourselves a chest built, stashed away, so we can, you know, store any sort of loot we find, building materials. It'll help a lot, because you need storage to keep going in this game. And, uh, yeah. Got some clothing, awesome backpack. Looking kind of, we're kind of matching now. I like it. We've got this like blue look going on. Pretty cool. So police hat, police bag, jock jacket, but it's blue. It's like the same exact color, so it kind of works. Like it. Found some glasses, waist bag, you know, whole new outfit. So we're looking a little less like a homeless person. <laughs> so that's good. Um, we had to go back and get our bicycle. Because I forgot it at the trader, which was not smart. And uh, on the way back, we hit up that World War II bunker again. And we found... We found an M1 rifle. Which is cool. Uh, it's in terrible shape, and there's no magazine for it, no ammo. But, I mean, it's a first rifle. Did I show us getting this? I think I probably did. Got the mule. Excellent shotgun. Small, but uh, packs a wallop, obviously. 12 gauge. So that's pretty sweet. Um, we were able to retire our Trejo clothes, which is nice. We'll be able to hold on to those for sentimental reasons or whatever. A lot of stuff to sell, backpacks, clothing. So we're doing good. It's a really good head start. All right, so now that we made our chest, we got our fire so we can cook food. We got our flag made. Uh, it's time to start laying out a temporary housing arrangement, something we can lock up. 
it's going to be something small while we work on a, a bigger building here. Um, and I've, I already kind of know what I want to do. It's going to be a garage, a, a small vehicle garage, maybe in, maybe enough room for two vehicles. Um, a house portion here. And um, maybe some kind of a dock that sort of hangs out into the water a little bit. I'm not really sure yet. Uh, two stories, maybe. We'll see. Um, but yeah, it's going to be really nice. So it's, we're going to have a ramp going up into the garage. and It's going to be really cool. It's going to look kind of modern, I think. Maybe. We'll see. Or maybe I'll just go crazy and we'll build a wizard's tower. Who knows? Because you can totally do that. But uh, yeah, we're going to get started uh, with that whole process. But first, we got to make... We're going to make like a temporary hut or something. Probably right here. Just something to keep loot in and stay out of the weather. Or maybe put a bedroll in or something. If we find a bedroll, I don't know. But uh, yeah, that's what we're going to do. Because we got to get something established. Because I want to venture out. I want to head out into this like exclusion zone here. I guess there's some kind of like radioactive nuclear accident that happened down here or something. I'm not really sure. Just heard rumors, really. I haven't seen it with my own eyes yet. So that's going to be something to <laughs> definitely check out. But first, we got to get established and, and roots laid down here. Then we can start venturing out and seeing what we come up with. Alright, home sweet temporary hovel. <laughs> uh, should have room for a small bed and a chest or two. Let's see. Is the bed under building? It is, and we do have room, which is good, because you do need to sleep now. So we'll just stick that there. And then the chest. Tons of room for a chest, several chests actually. We could have probably two in here. So that's good. So we'll place that there. Throw some nails in it. Need some planks. That's going to take some sticks, three sticks and some lashing. So, yeah, just about uh, just about done with that. Then we're going to head out. All right, now that we got our home established here, got a bed and everything, uh, we're going to take some of the loot that we've accumulated just a little bit. And uh, I'm going to sell it at the trader. See if we can get ourselves a little bit of money going. Um, maybe buy one lock if we can. I'm not sure if I've even got the fame points to do it. Because it's, it's fame point based now. You have to unlock certain uh, items. But uh, we'll see. We're going to go take a look anyway. Not really sure what we're going to be able to do. How much money we're going to have. I may sell the rifle too. I'm not sure yet. We'll see when we get there. Even damaged, I can get 550 for this, so we're going to sell it. Can use the money. Guns come unloaded. Security reasons, obviously. All right, so we got enough money to, uh, to buy the crafting stuff we need to make a lock, so that's good. We'll be able to lock up our stuff now. All right, that was pretty good. We ended up with uh, almost 2K, so not a bad little trip to the store. Uh, there are a bunch of puppets around the road, so I'm going to try and go around them. And we're going to head back. Ah. 
home sweet check. <laughs> Hello. Huh. Got a local over there. He looks like he's having a rough go of it. Good luck. Let's go see if this dude needs anything. You all set? You need anything? Uh, water? Yes, I think I can spare some water. There you go, right there. I know where there's a, uh, a well, too. He's taking a leak. Uh, on the way to the trader. I uh, gotcha, gotcha. Cool, cool. Well, hey, good luck, buddy. Can be hard to survive out here. Welcome. We've got a horsey. Boy, this is a busy place lately. <laughs> All right, we've come back to the trader. Uh, Cause that guy kind of reminded me, and also while we were uh, looting, uh, looting around the town, we're constantly running out of room, that uh, it'd be really good to have a hiking bag. And we've made a couple trips back here to sell things, and I, we finally got enough, or we should finally have enough for a hiking bag, so. Some weapons parts fix up our pistol so yeah the assault bag will get us another 400 so let's see if he'll even sell us a bag and he will yes very nice so let's get I kind of like this one let's buy that it's less than 2k so we'll have some money left over too there so let's open this it's empty let's sell that back to him recoup a little bit of money and there look at all the room well you have tons of room now and a little bit of money left over still too so very cool uh, I got some fishing line I'm gonna sell and then uh, we're gonna head back to the homestead because it's getting late the sun's going down and it's been a long tiresome full of work sort of day Here we are, back at the hut. Pretty eventful day, got quite a bit done. Um, definitely gonna be doing a lot more looting and stuff with this backpack and running to the traders to get some money. And uh, hopefully we'll end up with a dirt bike right off or something. I still don't have the, the fame points to buy motorized vehicles, but eh, we should be getting there pretty quick. We're, we're gaining fame points pretty well, so not bad. Made a good bit of money, got our, our little hut built uh, in the meantime. 
you know, while we're in between building an actual house, which is going to be freaking awesome. But, uh, yeah, that's all the time we've really got for anything today. Uh, we'll definitely be uh, going out on some adventures next time, I think, now that we've got a secure place kind of stakes down scenario going on now. A sort of a temporary home. But, um... Uh, yeah, as always, you guys, thanks for watching. Um, leave a like if you like the video, a comment, uh, maybe drop a sub if you enjoy these scum videos, and we'll keep throwing them at you. <laughs> you keep watching them, so I guess we'll just keep doing it. <laughs> but uh, I really do enjoy playing this game and seeing all the new stuff, so that's no problem at all. But anyway, yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.